Wow. Beautiful, beautiful day. Hello. Whew, what a day. I've had a right old morning of it so far, you know. Ah. So this is much needed. I went to go, um, just a few minutes ago, I went to go to the woods that I quite often go to. Um, I very nearly got there and the complete road is dug up. No signs or anything. Well, I say no signs. There were signs right at the very end, just said uh, road closed, road ahead closed. So I couldn't go there. So I've come here, which is my, um, my nearest little place. Um, just nearest place to get out really <laughs> and uh, getting out today was a twofold thing I had to go to the post office today the issue art sale has ended so we're back to normal actually I'll show you a photo on the end of this called fire uh, it's a painting I've just completed so I had to go to the post office uh, to post five paintings so thank you very much. That was good of you. Um, and I wanted to get out and away from the phone really. Um, I got a letter a couple of days ago, Friday actually, I got a letter on Friday. As I'm making this, this is Monday. And the letter is for an appointment at the hospital. But it doesn't say what it's for. <laughs> it really winds me up. Um, bog standard letter just said you got an appointment this time this day and really that was about it so I'm thinking well it's not the operation because I'm sure they'd say a bit more like you know don't eat or don't drink or whatever uh, it can't really be the pre-op I wouldn't imagine because I think they might say that or maybe they don't who knows so perhaps it's uh, I don't know what it is perhaps it's um, the same as, as what they told me on the phone you know we had a had a telephone call the other day for about 20 minutes so perhaps it's just more of that I don't know um, anyway <laughs> Two lovely friends I must mention, uh, Marion and Martin, bless you. Always there, you two, bless you. Um, but my friend Marion said it's, it just sounds like a standard letter and it's probably going in, they'll probably tell you everything they know, uh, including what your options are and everything else and I'm sure she's absolutely right but it doesn't say that on the letter and I think it should do I think it should say this is a, a standard admin interview thing uh, something like that or they could headline it this is your pre-op or they could headline it this is the date of your operation whatever so you know anyway um, I was also chatting the following day to a friend of mine, Martin, bless you, always there. And he said the same, he said the same as Marion really, it just sounds like a standard kind of bullshit letter. And not to give it much importance really, you know, which is fine, but I don't know what I'm going in for. Booty! Um, so I've had to ring them. And uh, the ring the main hospital line. Ring, 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 ring today. No answer whatsoever. So I found uh, an appointments line. Phoned that and they answered straight away. And I said, look, I'm confused about this letter I got. Um, I've got to speak to this guy, you know. Um, or a member of his team and she said well I can put you through uh, no she said I can give you the direct number to his secretary I said fantastic that's great thank you 
So I got that number and I started ringing it today at nine o'clock and I rang again and again and again and again. Bearing in mind, I want to get out and I want, I've got a few things that I've got to do today, including the post office, etc. So I actually rang it 17 times and it just rang and rang and rang and rang and then eventually it went to some sort of machine that said this line isn't taking messages or something like that. So I left it, I went out of the wash and got myself sorted. Maybe it's have a slurpy. And thought I'd try again. So I tried and tried and tried. Exactly the same. So I tried the main hospital line. Can't believe it, but it just rang and rang and rang and rang and rang. Terrible. Surely somebody's there. So I went back to the appointments line. There's the phone now. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so yeah, I'm back. Just a friend of mine. Um, so I went back to the appointments line and I got straight through and I said, uh, somebody gave me the number for the secretary to whoever. Um, I just can't get through. Is there another number I could try, you know? And she said, well, you can't get through because the lady doesn't start till half past 10. So you're best off ringing at 11 onwards. I said, oh, God, nobody told me that, did they? So I'm sat here at 9 o'clock in the morning ringing this number that's going nowhere. Anyway, thanks very much for that. <laughs> so anyway, I left, and I've got... Um, I've got to make these phone calls when I get home in a bit. It's just frustrating, just annoying. Oh, dear. <laughs> Yeah, it really is annoying. It really is. The trouble is, the nearer I'm getting to the operation, the more nervous I'm getting. I know it's crazy, but that's true. So, to deal with all this stuff, I could do without it. I got a phone also. Um, different department within the hospital but if you can't wear a mask then apparently you ring this number and they can sort you out with something so I've got that to do it just seems never ending at the moment I just wish I wish things were easier they don't seem to be very easy though so this is where I am It's lovely. This is about two or three hundred yards away from where I live, that's all. But it is lovely. It's nice to have these quiet little areas to come and be, come and chill. I haven't been down here for some time. There's a dog there. A licking dog, look. Look! I can see you licking. Oh, you mustn't keep licking, my friend. Oh, getting quite warm now. Ah, so I'm going to go and sit in the car and chill out. And we slurpy, I think, and then go home. And then start ringing these people. Otherwise, you know, it plays on your mind that you've got these phone calls to make. I haven't got it, darling. I know. I know you want to. 
He's after his B-A-L-L, it's at home. We're just having a bin ball, darling, okay? Come on, come on. Play a bit later in the garden. I get so breathless these days. So, apart from, <laughs> apart from moaning about bloody phone calls, how am I doing? Well, I'm doing okay. As you can see, I'm breathless. I don't feel very well a lot of the time, in an odd way. Uh, but really, apart from that, we're doing okay. Mustn't grumble. Is that my friend or not? Don't think it is. Somebody else has come in here. To have a bin, but I thought it was my old friend. It's in there for a while. Yeah, so really, I'm doing okay. I am. I just wish that things were simpler. I wish I didn't have all this stuff in the air to go through and just frustrating and bloody annoying. Okay. Whatever you're doing, enjoy your day. And we'll be back another day. <sighs> Glorious. If you can get outside, get outside. Cheers. Be well. <laughs>